Today we're looking at the downtown marina project. Um, we've got Dave Dingler with Prime Resins here with us, uh, just giving a little overview of the work we're doing. Uh, basically, rebuilding the marina is starting with the foundation, uh, demoing the cap, replacing the whalers, new dead man and tie backs. But uh, one of the more important things that we're doing is here with Prime Resins uh, is doing the injection and sealing up the existing sheet piles that were built in the 1950s. Um, each of them have joints between each sheet pile and the prime resins product we're using is to seal and make whole that structure. Absolutely. So just kind of touch on the material that we're using. Uh, we, we opted to do this is phase two of the project uh, back from originally from being done a few years back. But the uh, material that we chose to go with is the PrimeFlex 920 manufactured by Prime Resins. And this is a single component hydrophobic urethane system, very low viscosity. So the gentlemen out here are actually injecting to actually permeate the soil to prevent any type of water or infiltration coming in and undermining the underlaying soil for the, the seawall itself. So as John mentioned, we're going in and injecting at every seam just to ensure that when the tides let up and down, we don't have water coming in and then escaping out and pulling soil with it. Yeah, so just to touch on the project, John, it's a single component hydrophobic urethane system. It's very low viscosity, so when the material is injected in with the soil, it's actually encapsulating the soil and following any imperfections on the back side of the seawall itself. So in hand, it's actually sealing up the seams on the sheet pile that's been drove down many years back. And then it's also sealing off any other imperfections that's been created over time basically giving you a, a new wall um, with extra protection behind it to keep out any erosion going in or out. Any further erosion, yeah. And the benefit about the resin is since it is hydrophobic, it does create an impermeable mass. So the water, if there is any, any tide fluctuations or anything, the, the material itself will not break down from those tide fluctuations. So those imperfections and those seams are sealed with the resin itself.